In this sports design tutorial, I'm going to show you how to design like Temple University Athletics. The first step is to enhance the player's detail on a skin. We can create this effect by going into Camera Raw Filter and making a couple adjustments. I first increased texture and clarity in order to sharpen the entire image. Next, I made a couple adjustments to shadows, whites, blacks, as well as I added a little bit of contrast to enhance the black and white difference on a skin. You can also go into the detail tab and mess around with sharpening and noise reduction, but that's just personal preference. This is before any type of enhancement, and then this is after. If your sharpening is too strong, you can always reduce the opacity and fill. Alright, now I'm going to show you how to get this black and white skin effect that you see on your screen right now. So what you can do is hit new adjustment layer and then click black and white. What this will do is turn your entire image to black and white and then you can hit command I on your Mac to invert the mask. Next make sure your paintbrush is selected and then you have the white color toggled. And then you can make your brush larger and then paint back on the black and white to the skin. I sped this part up so you didn't have to watch me do all that. All right, for the background, they just have a couple of triangles placed to the right of the player, which can be created by holding down on the square icon in your toolbar and then selecting triangle. After you have them in your graphic, you can adjust the triangles to fit your liking. For the sake of this video, I'm going to try my best to replicate the exact placement from the temple design. One of the coolest parts about this design is the text to the left of the player, and I'm going to show you guys how that's done. I'm going to be using the font Master of Comics, which can be found in the description below. Next, you can duplicate the layer and then resize it. You can change the color of the text by highlighting it and then clicking on the color on the top of the screen. After you've done that, you're going to want to convert the layer to a smart object by right clicking on the layer and then scrolling down to convert to smart object. What this is going to allow you to do is control click on your new smart object and then you can mess around with its properties. To get the effect that the temple design team used, you're going to want to make sure you use the warp tool and stretch out certain parts of the text. If you have learned anything from this video so far, please drop me a like. It really helps out the channel. And if this video gets 150 likes, I'm going to drop the PSD file for you guys all to use. So make sure you have that bell turned on so you don't miss a video. I did these same steps with all the text layers that were created to the left of my player and so I sped this part up so you guys didn't have to watch me do all that. We now have the stadium background design which can be seen behind your text layer. So what I did is I took a picture of the Clippers game and I placed it inside of my PSD file. I then created a hue and saturation layer and I reduced the saturation to turn my background to black and white. I turned those two layers into a group by having one of the layers selected and then command clicking on the other layer and then I just hit the folder button to make it into a folder. Next I hit command I to invert your mask and then with our white brush selected we can reveal that clipper stadium background layer and then I can lower the opacity to get less of the stadium revealed. Alright next I'm going to show you guys how to create a player shadow. This is pretty simple to do. You're going to want to create a blank layer below your player image and then have the black brush selected on a lower opacity. Another technique that you guys can try out is to darken the bottoms of your player's shoes or cleats. And this can be done by creating a layer above your player and then creating a clipping mask to clip it onto your player. If you want an additional shadow effect, sometimes I add a black layer on 100 hardness underneath my shoes and then I go up to Filter, Blur, and then go to Gaussian Blur. You can always lower the opacity to reduce the shadow effect. The last part of this design is color corrections. This is my before color corrections, and then this is my after. So let me go through my color corrections folder. The first folder is selective color. I have two layers within this folder. It's vibrance and selective color. Within selective color, I just adjusted the reds to make them pop a little bit more by adding blacks to it. And then the vibrance tab, I increased my saturation and I decreased the vibrance. The next folder I have are color lookups. The first color lookup I have is two strip with the opacity at 26%. Next I have a Kodak filter as well as a Fuji filter 
with their opacities both lowered as well as their fills lowered. This is before any color lookups and then here is the after. The last thing I have here are gradients. I have three gradients set to different blend modes. All of the gradients affect your blacks and your whites within the graphic and I used the blend modes overlay, color dodge, and soft light to get this effect that you see on the screen. I also added an overlay to add a little bit more of grunge to the graphic and you can see the difference on my player's skin as well as a little bit on the text. And then this is the final result. If you enjoyed today's video, check out some of my other sports design tutorials right here.